Hello, good morning. Uh, Registrar, I would like to begin, please, by reading out a statement. Thank you. Thank you. So the directions hearing today is in the matter of CFI 056-2021 before the Registrar Nur Hunaidi and is being held by way of video conference. So any orders or directions made after or during the course of this hearing will be issued by the Registry on the Registrar's instructions. Um, the claimant is represented by Mohammed Lingawi Advocates and Legal Consultants. Lead counsel is Khadr Al Khadr. The defendant is represented by HFW. Lead counsel is Nick Burganza. Thank you very much. Um, so I've had a look at this case um, and I can see that it's quite up in a shambles. Um, the judge issued certain directions um, pursuant to an order made, I think it was in December or January, um, and there were certain deadlines that had to be complied with within that order. Um, but these were not unfortunately complied with. Um, and um, this is the purpose of, of the short and very brief hearing today. This is actually not a hearing, it's more of a directional call. Um, I think that um, the claimant is perhaps a little bit confused as to what the requirements are under the um, order made by Justice Jeremy Cook. Um, so would the claimant just please um, let me know what, what you understand from the order made by the judge. Um, so, as I understand, you had to refile and you had to serve the claim form um, and the amended particulars of claim as a separate standalone document on the defendant um, by, I think it was the 14th of January, if I'm not mistaken. It could have been even before that. Um, and that wasn't complied with. Um, so, what what portion of that is is not very clear? Um, you're on mute, Mr. Al Khadr. Thank you. Yes, uh, dear Registrar. Actually, I understand from the order passed by Justice Sir Jeremy Cook on fourth January. I understand that paragraph three, saying that um, if defendant give his consent to the particulars of uh, amended claim, then he has, he should have to file his defense within 14 days. Actually, the defendant already, I served on fifth, already defendant served, and also I put the application together with the attachment with the court portal. And my understanding is that uh, according to the judge, order the defendant should uh, should uh, submit his defense within 14 days from the date of consent as written in paragraph 3 this is my understanding because there is no further instructions to me that uh, after the consent i have to give further or i have to give more serving to the defendant defendant already served by the amended claim together with the attached documents everything is clear to him and uh, from 12 the day that he give his consent from that date up to 26 or 27 we are expecting his uh, the defendant uh, defense uh, to my astonishment that uh, there is no defense appear till 26 27 that is why on 30 uh, January, I sent email to the registry saying that if there any further action or any di directions I have to do. This is my understanding. Um, just bear with me, myself, so that I'm just looking through the order. Um, I'm not sure I've got the correct order in front of me. Just, just bear with me, please. Yes. Uh, 
but um, uh, Mr. Braganza, you, you might be able to assist me because I've, I've actually got the wrong order in front of me and I've got issues accessing the CMS this morning. Um, but, but from my understanding, um, the claimant was meant to um, re-serve its amended uh, particulars yes. um, on the defence and, and that wasn't done. Um, as I understand, um, and no certificate, I could not see a certificate of service on, on the system and I couldn't see an acknowledgement um, from your end. Uh, Mr. perhaps this is where the, the misunderstanding is. Um, when you serve a document on the other side, you, you must not do it on the CMS. It's got to be served on the other side through the, 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 the method that's been agreed between the parties. Um, so that might be by email. Um, if, if that's already been pre-agreed and the email um, requirements have been met pursuant to part nine of the IDC, and if not, it's got to be by courier. Um, given that Mr. Braganza has come on the record on behalf of his clients and has been on the record at the time the hearing went ahead with Justice Sir Jeremy Cook, um, it would seem to me that um, service by way of email could be acceptable, but I can't confirm that at this stage. But you did not serve, in any event, you did not serve by hand nor, nor by email. You simply re-uploaded the documents on the CMS. Is that correct, Mr. Braganza? Um, actually, not even that. I think the the only um, uh, amended particulars were attached to his application, which was then dealt with previously. His uh, application to um, extend time, I think it was. They were they were amended. Uh, sorry, they were attached to that application. Um, we gave the claim the benefit of the doubt. We reviewed those um, uh, amended particulars and we gave our consent to them. And then it was for uh, Mr. Kadir on behalf of the claimant to serve those and he hasn't done that. Um, and uh, in in, circ in those circumstances, he is in breach of that, that court order. He had to um, serve those, uh, the amended claim form amended particulars after we had given the consent and that has not been done. He um, we also noted quite recently that um, the amended particulars which were attached to that application did not contain a statement of truth and so they need to uh, include that. So um, uh, my colleague Shane Gibbons wrote to the registry yesterday with our proposed directions going forward which would involve um, re-serving uh, those particulars of claim. Uh, amended particular, sorry, with a statement of truth, and then we can respond and provide our defence within 14 days. Uh, and that, that's our proposal, which we um, would put to the court for your approval. Thanks, Mr. Bergen. So yes, you're right, yeah, actually, you're right, I just uh, reviewed the, the case file, and I can see that um, the particulars as a standalone were never uploaded onto the e-registry. They were only submitted as part of the application in draft form not accompanying a state statement of truth. So Mr. Khalil, this, this, this means essentially that you now need to comply with the order of Justice Sir Jeremy Cook, because if you don't comply with it, then your client's case could be struck out and thrown away um, on, on lack of procedure. So I'm going to issue some directions um, now, and I hope that these will be complied with immediately. I'm not going to give you too much time to comply with them on the basis that you've had ample time to comply um, and lots of time has been wasted. Um, so I would like you please today to file and serve the amended particulars of claim on the defendant before 4 p.m. Okay. today. I would um, do. I would yes. Do. Um, so, so when you serve, so, so what you would do is you would necessarily file the amended particulars um, on the e-registry. That would then be sealed. It would be accompanied by a statement of truth. That would then be sealed. So you've got to do that uh, well before 4 p.m. And then you've got to take that version that's been sealed by the court and serve it on the other side um, through the methods that have been approved or are approved under the DRC court rules. After you do that, so by tomorrow 4 p.m., you must file a certificate of service on the e-registry system to say how you serve the other side. Um, so, um, I, and I will be putting all of these order into a um, in, into form so that you have a copy of it. Um, after the hearing today. So you've got to file a certificate of service um, on the system. And then Mr. Braganza, um, obviously having been served in, in the correct form, I hope that has, um, I hope that requirement is fulfilled. You must then file and serve 
an acknowledgement uh, by 4 p.m. Uh, I'm not going to give you a deadline for that, actually. Um, though I, I would hope that if it is been done properly, that we don't waste any more time when you do that by the end of the week. Um, now, depending on when you file the acknowledgement of service, um, Mr. Braganza, would it be helpful if I did set deadlines just so we can get this case back on track? Yeah, uh, we're happy to. And um, in terms of we've already acknowledged service, so we can dispense with that. I don't think we actually need amended claim form. It's just the amended particulars. So we could just, um, it, uh, you know, we are willing to, as I said, um, file our defence uh, um, within a, a, a short period of two weeks um, uh, of, of um, service of, of the amended particulars. OK, I, I just want to dot the I's and cross the T's, I think, yeah. in the situation. Um, so I want you to, I, I think I prefer to still follow the format of filing a okay. COS and an AOS, just given the um, issues okay. that we've had in the case. Fine. Fine. Um, so if, if perhaps you were to file an acknowledgement of service uh, within, say, 24 hours of, of receiving the amended particulars which have been sealed, okay. um, then I'm going to give you, um, is, is seven days sufficient for the defence, provided that obviously the, the particulars are in the same format um, that they have been? Yeah, we can agree to that. Oh, fantastic. So let's say seven days from the date that you receive the amended particulars, you must then file your defence on the other side. Um, and according to Rule 16.16 .16 of the IDC, um, I'll then leave it to the claimant to file and serve a reply to the defence on the defendant uh, within 21 days, um, just because obviously the, the claimant has not yet seen the contents of the defence uh, that's been made by your clients. I'm going to give them the full time requirement under the RDC. Um, is, is that clear, Mr al -Khadr? Yeah, actually, uh, my question is, uh, if uh, I'm going to serve the defendant, can I serve on email as before, or is there a particular form that I can use, or what is the direction? Well, well, it depends on the acknowledgement of service that's already been filed um, against the claim form. Mr. Braganza, did you indicate in that acknowledgement that an email service is sufficient? Yes, you, I mean, I, actually, that acknowledgement of service, which has already been filed, was served before we were instructed, but that notwithstanding, we are willing to accept service by email um, and we'll confirm that in our acknowledgement of services, uh, acknowledgement of service that we'll, we'll file shortly. Fantastic, so, so yes. So, so no need uh, so, uh, no need for form, only, no. so, only email. Yes, that's fine. As I did before. Yes. From today. I, uh, exactly. Uh, I have only today or I have, how, how long? Today. Um, today. So, so, so yes, you've only got today to do it. Um, but obviously, it's it's not much work at all for you. It's just a uh, technicality of of uploading your um, amended particulars on the e-registry system. Um, you've got to accompany that with a statement of truth. So you just fill out the form for the amended particulars. We then seal the amended particulars, and you serve that on on Mr. Braganza. Uh, okay. I have a request. Can you send these directions in writing? Please. I will be. Yes, please. I will I be sending it in them writing. in writing. I will follow it. Of because course. sometimes okay. I miss the word where you are talking. Maybe I cannot get all the words that you are saying. But if you send it in writing, I will. I will. Uh, I will do it. Inshallah. Okay. That's that's no problem. We will so always I'll be, follow I'll up. Be expecting it today and now in, after the hearing time, I will be expecting in writing and I will do my. I will uh, make the service to uh, to the defendant. Yes, Mr. Al Khadr. Yes, uh, you you will have my directions in writing um, in in the next hour or two, yeah. um, and then um, you you will then hopefully comply with, with those directions. I've just been told by the registry actually that the uh, particulars of claim are not sealed, which is um, quite quite strange um, to me. Um, I had thought that the amended particulars are sealed by, by the court. Um, but look, if they're not sealed, that's fine. Um, Ms. al Khadab, you just upload them onto the e-registry and then serve that exact copy on, on the other side by email. And yes, I will send you the directions in the next hour or two 
Um, I'm not going to, I've, I've instructed the registry not to charge for this hearing today. Um, it's, it's more of a courtesy call just to get the parties um, back on track with, with case progression. So I'm not going to put this in a formal order, rather I'll put this in, a, in an email um, and, and the registry will circulate uh, the directions by email. Thank you very much, Registrar. That's Thank most you. appreciated. Thank you very much. Any any questions, Mr. Al Khader? Does that does that all make sense? Thank you. Only I will be waiting for the written instructions. I will follow it. No problem. <laughs> Thank, no problem. You Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank I will. You. I will do. Bye bye. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you.